Here are five species of wildlife that are native to North America, but newcomers to the North. Here in Vermont, we've seen a bunch of new wildlife species become established in the last hundred years or so. Here are my top five. Number one, Eastern coyote. Coyotes are a species that's mostly native to west of the Mississippi, but that expanded their ranges over the last 200 years as apex predators, especially wolves, were extirpated from this region. The Eastern coyote that we have here today is actually a hybrid. It's bigger than the Western coyote. On average, it has about 15% wolf DNA and about 10% domestic dog DNA. Number two, Northern Cardinal. This species was first observed in Vermont in the early 1900s, but wasn't confirmed to be breeding in Vermont until the 1960s. Species number three, Eastern Cottontail. Here in Vermont, we have a native hare called the Snowshoe Hare, but an Eastern Cottontail didn't become established here until the 1930s or the 1940s. As it spread, displaced the native New England Cottontail in much of its range. Species number four, Virginia Possum, our only native marsupial first seen in Vermont in the 1930s or 40s. And number five, and this is one I did not know until I was researching for this video, the turkey vulture. From the early 1900s in Vermont, it was like a total oddity. It was a weird thing to see. It first started being regularly observed like in the 1960s, but breeding of turkey vultures wasn't confirmed in Vermont until the 1980s. Today, we see them absolutely everywhere. I should say that of all these species, none of them are really considered problematic except possibly that eastern cottontail, insofar as it displaces that New England cottontail. They're just all species that are native to this continent, but new to this region. And with climate change, the ability of species to move, which by the way, they can't all do, is actually a really good thing. 